Welcome back to Linux Guides, the go-to place for everything related to Linux. Today we are diving deep into the world of Linux distributions, focusing on why Linux Mint stands out as, in my opinion, the best choice. So buckle up as we explore the features that make Linux Mint a favorite among the Linux community. Let's kick things off with the heart and soul of Linux Mint, the Cinnamon Desktop. Developed in-house by the Linux Mint team, Cinnamon is more than just a desktop environment. It's an integral part of the Linux Mint experience. In fact, you can say Linux Mint is for Cinnamon and Cinnamon is for Linux Mint. For example, if you open up your menu, just right click any application and select to uninstall it. This is just one of these features which are working so, so good. Because with uninstall a Linux Mint self-written software component starts and whether it is a flat pack or system package with APT, it will try to uninstall the application or to remove this menu entry. Another thing is our system reports menu. I can open it up here in system reports. The system reports comes with useful tips and tricks to improve your Linux Mint desktop experience. For example, to install additional drivers if a new version of Linux Mint comes out and other very useful tips. For example, here installing missing language packs. Also in the system information, you can easily copy the whole text and paste it, for example, into forums. And also you have here an own crash reports window. Also, there's a complete new series, the X apps in Linux Mint, which integrates all apps seamlessly good. For example, if I open up my file manager and I create new document, for example, test.txt and I right click it and make it a favorite. So add to favorites. Then I have a new star down here to open up all my favorites. For example, this test.txt file. Also in the menu, I can now search for test.txt because it's a favorite. And also, for example, if I open up the text editor and I can also select under file favorites my test.txt file. This is just a small inspection on how well integrated the Cinnamon desktop is into Linux Mint and it makes really fun to discover all these features and of course using them. So in fact you can say Linux Mint is for Cinnamon and Cinnamon is for Linux Mint. The seamless integration results in a desktop experience that's both intuitive and visual appealing, making it a joy to use. Let's head to the next segment, and this is the Ubuntu base. Now, what sets Linux Mint apart from the rest? It's strong foundation, but also expansion. Linux Mint is built on the solid groundwork of Ubuntu. It isn't copying Ubuntu because it removes Snap completely and is using Flatpak instead, but Flatpak is only optional to use. But let's come to compatibility. This means that almost every package and instruction designed for Linux is compatible with Linux Mint. The benefits of this compatibility cannot be overstated. It opens up a vast ecosystem of software support and community knowledge that ensures a smooth and reliable user experience. In fact, you can get almost every software which is available for Linux over the software manager because of the integration of all Ubuntu packages, which is also coming with, I guess, all Debian packages or almost all Debian packages. And of course, the FlatHub, which is, in my opinion, the new app store for Flatpak and the central app store for Flatpak. And that brings us to the third point, stability and usability. While some Linux distros might be busy experimenting with cutting edge features, like for example, Pop OS with their completely new Rust written desktop, this is a great idea in theory, but, but I don't know if this is a right way to create a brand new desktop in such a short time and to making it a default. I'm very curious how this is working in the next Pop OS version. So Linux Mint, in the other hand, stays true to its core principles, stability and usability. The developers at Linux Mint prioritize a reliable and user-friendly experience, avoiding unnecessary complications or experiments like the snap switching of Ubuntu or some bleeding edge updates in the Arch Linux ecosystem. This commitment to stability ensures that your system works seamlessly, giving you the confidence to focus on your tasks 
without worrying about unexpected high cups. Let's head over to my next point and this is the beginner friendliness. Now let's talk about accessibility. Linux Mint is renowned for being one of the most beginner-friendly Linux distributions out there. The installation process is straightforward and the user interface is designed to be intuitive, making it an ideal choice for, for those new to the world of Linux. If you're just starting with the Linux journey, Linux Mint provides a welcoming environment to learn and explore without feeling overwhelmed. There comes a handy welcome screen which explains you the first steps, how to start an Linux Mint, how to install some software. It has almost a good documentation, I would say. And many hotkeys, for example, which are working under Windows are also working in Linux Mint. For example, Super E just opens up the Explorer or Nemo file manager and many other desktop features are included and are well accessible over the well-designed system settings which are also very very major if you for example compare them with the Ubuntu system settings which are basically the GNOME system settings. Now let's delve into some of the standout features that Linux Mint brings to the table. One notable enhancement for example which came in the new Linux Mint version 21.3 is the actions settings. I can search here for actions. This feature allows users to add more actions to the context menu of the file manager, providing an efficient way to interact with files. And these are just the beginning. And I guess I will also add an action by my own. For example, I'm searching for a very quick way to convert a markdown file into a PDF file. And I guess this can be done very, very quickly with actions. But yeah, it's these thoughtful additions that showcase the commitment of Linux Mint to, to improving the user experience and staying ahead of the curve in desktop functionality, which makes it great to use. So in conclusion, Linux Mint isn't just another Linux distribution. It's a carefully crafted operating system that combines the best of the Linux world, from the beautifully integrated Cinnamon desktop to the stability and usability that define its core. Linux Mint stands tall as the to-go choice for both beginners and seasoned Linux users alike, for example me. If you haven't tried it yet, perhaps it's now time to experience the excellence of Linux Mint. As always, thank you for tuning in and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Linux related content. See you in the next one. Bye.